Hey guys, it's Finn. This is the first video of an episode that I want to start. It's about neural networks and how to achieve the backpropagation algorithm. I will focus on uh, how to program and code them in Java. And I will try to give you a quick explanation on how they work. But I will not go into detail in everything, so I will link videos in the description. And if you have any questions, you can uh, still send me a message on YouTube and ask me for anything. Um, in the first video, I'm quickly going to explain how they work. And I'm only going to focus on the feed fault process in this video. In the next video, I'm going to program it. And in uh, one of the further, in one of the next videos, you will see the backpropagation algorithm and how um, it's being coded. So uh, what is a neural network? Um, it's pretty much like a box. You um, don't know what, it's, what is inside. And um, you're going to give data to the um, box. And later, you're going to get some data out of the box. Um, it's pretty much about getting new data out of already um, data, of data that you already got. For example, you give um, him an image, and he can recognize the number that is displayed in the image or something like that. Um, you usually got um, the input data and the output data, and it might have different size. For this example, I used an input size of 3 and an output size of 2. This just means uh, we're usually working with numbers, so we're going to give in 3 numbers and getting 2 out of the network. Uh, if you would open the box, you would probably see some layers. Uh, in this example, I used four layers, and uh, each layer has um, some nuance in it. Um, each layer has like a size, and it's equal to the amount of nuance that you can find in that layer. And for example, the input layer, is the first layer, um, it ha it has the same size as the input data. Um, same for the output layer, and the hidden layers are the sizes. Um, it doesn't matter how big these layers are, but um, it shouldn't be too big or too small. And um, I used two and four in this example. So the um, hidden layer, the first hidden layer, has a size of two, and the second hidden layer has a size of four, and the output layer has a size of two. Um, if you would um, uh, keep going into the network, you would see that every neuron is connected to each other. So um, for example, if you take the new, the uh, first hidden layer, this one here, um, you can see that it is connected to every layer, to every neuron in the first layer, and to every neuron in the uh, layer right after. So um, it's it's not connected to the um, neurons in the last layer. It's only connected to the neurons in the layers around him, um, and these um, connections are usually weighted. So um, I, will, I will quickly show you how um, data is being processed. So um, if you get like three numbers into the network, the data will process the data and feed it forward to the next layer. And the next layer is going to feed it for forward to the next layer and so on until you get your output. Uh, how one neuron works is the following way. Uh, you usually split the neuron into two parts. The first part is going to sum things up and the second one is going to apply um, a function. Um, we are going to use the sigma transfer function in this example, which is usually used. Um, I will first go into the uh, sigma transfer function and then I will talk about the sum. So uh, the sigma transfer function looks something like this. It's 1 um, and 1 plus e to the negative x. And um, this is how it pretty much looks like. And you can see that it always beneath 1 and always um, over 0. So it, it's ne no, never going to get any negative um, y values. It doesn't matter what you um, plug in, but it's always between 1 and uh, z 0. Um, then I'm going to... Now I'm um, giving you a quick example of how one neuron works. So, um, for example, if we got like 3 neurons in the previous layer, and the first neuron outputs a 0.9, the second a 0.3, and the last one a 0.8. And the um, connections are weighted with these values, um, so one, minus 0 0.5, 1.2, and 1.4. The sum is going to um, um, take every value and multiply it by the weight. 
that is connected to it and sum them up. So 0 0.9 times uh, minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.3 times 1.2 and plus uh, one, 0 0.8 times uh, 0 0.4 and this is equal to one, uh, 0 0.23 if I didn't do anything wrong here but I think it should be like that and the second thing you do is uh, apply the sigma transfer function to that sum and in th this example it's going to be 0 0.557 if you look at the transfer function it should be somewhere where you can see the arrow um, there's one more thing that someone added to the new network, I have no idea who, but it makes things uh, better and more efficient. It's something called a bias. Um, you can think about the bias as an additional weight for every neon. And um, let's start like this. In every neon, except the last layer, is an additional neon. And the output of the neon is always one. So um, it's not processing anything, it's just outputting one. And it's connected to every neon in the hidden layers and the output layer, and um, it's being used in the um, s uh, when you sum it up. So, for example, when we go to our um, old example, and we're going to add the bias. We could just simply add the um, output of that bias neon, which is one, um, times the weight that connects it, uh, which we are going to call bias. And this is equal to the bias. So oh, we can just pretty much um, add the bias to uh, our sum function. So uh, the idea of the new network at the end is that um, we could adjust the weights and the bias in terms of changing the output as we want. So uh, we are giving an input and we, we are going to check what the output is. And we are going to change the weights according how the output should change. And this is um, the learning process that we are going to talk later on. If you like this video, you can uh, click the subscribe button and watch my next videos. And see you in the next video, guys.